A little over two weeks ago, former Evansville Aces star slugger Kevin Kazmarski got the call to the show from the New York Mets. Monday night, he got his first Major League start against the Phillies, and while it didn't yield his first Major League hit, it did yield some great moments. We caught up with Kevin to talk about his experiences in the bigs. Last night was your first start. How do you think it went? I think it went good, man. Um, I got double switched for, I think, in the sixth inning, so I didn't play the full game. Um, but I think it went good. You know, I got to get my feet wet, get out there in right field, got to catch my first fly ball, so that's good to get under your belt. And, um, you know, it's just, uh, it, was, it felt good to get out there, for sure. How tough has it been? I mean, you get the call to come up there. You were lights out after you came back from the injury in Vegas, and then you get called up to the Mets, and then they say waiting is the hardest part. Was that kind of the way it was for you? Because you didn't get to start right away or play right away. Right, yeah. I got a couple pinch hits in there, but um, I think, like today, I think yesterday was like the 17th, I think 17th day that I was up, I finally got to start. So, um, yeah, it was, uh, you know, it's all right. Um, you know, it's all part of the challenge. So, um, at the same time, you know, you could say it's tough and all that, but at the same time, you know, you take your hack from the cage and, you know, you try to see the machine and just try to stay ready every day. So, um, you know, um, you know, it's kind of on you to be ready. So, it's all part of it. Uh, have you had your welcome to the majors rookie moment yet? Uh, yeah, I don't know if there's one defining moment, but I guess, you know, everything that's kind of been happening, um, you know, with, with the players and, uh, you know, just the way you're treated and just, um, you know, you're treated pretty well, you know, when you're in the show. So it's, it's pretty cool. And, uh, it's just funny because you go your whole way and you're always grinding, you know, as a, you know, you're grinding in high school and you're grinding in college and then you're grinding in you know, grinding a lot in minor league ball, and then you get to the show, and it's just a completely different, I guess, lifestyle kind of. So um, I guess that whole, I guess that whole way of how you're treated, and you know, the food you get to eat, and you know, everything with that, you know, the private flight. I guess all that just kind of, you know, sums it up. I guess. What went through your mind when you got that call that hey, you're going up to? Uh you're going up to the majors. Uh, yeah, honestly, it didn't really hit me right away. You know, obviously, I was excited, but um, it didn't. It was just kind of all surreal. You know, it didn't really hit me. Uh, you know, I was excited. I called my fan. Um, you know, talked to a couple of close friends. I called Coach Carroll, and um, you know, just talked to some of the people. Just kind of let them know, and then you know, it was really quick because you know, you went back to our apartment. We had a flight like a couple hours after he told us. So you know, you go back to your apartment, get your stuff. And you fly over to New York, it's a three hour time difference, and everything was just so quick. Um, you know, you get in and you got a game the next day, so um, and you're getting blown up by people. It's, it's all good stuff, it really is awesome. But at the same time, you know, it uh, it took a couple of days to finally, you know, settle in and, you know, kind of realize, you know, this is happening. So it's pretty cool. What does it say about the University of Evansville program that you've got Freeland pitching out in Colorado, now you're up? It seems like Stamets is right there on the edge of getting there. Uh, a, a couple other guys. What does it say about this uh, this little program here in the Midwest? Yeah, I think it speaks volumes. Um, you know, <clears throat> they do such a great job. You know, with Coach Carroll, I can't you know preach it enough. But I think they kind of bring something else to the table that a lot of other Division One programs don't do. And um, you know, I I've, I've told them before that they really bring like a, a family tradition where. Um, you know, it's kind of beyond baseball. Uh, it's more about life. And, um, you know, it was just a perfect fit for me and, you know, just the relationships I had there with teammates. And, and I think that all, it all starts at the top of the coaching staff and, you know, how they kind of get you ready for life. And, um, you know, I can't really preach it enough, but they are huge, you know, a huge reason for, um, I think, a lot of my success. And I, I owe them a lot. So they've been great. And remember, you can keep up with all things Evansville Athletics on GoPurpleAces.com, as well as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and our YouTube channel.